Hey guys, what's up? A Heckman 2 here with another MX vs. ATV Reflex Custom Track Review. Today we are taking a look at the 2016 Toronto replica made by Dart Slides 19. And uh, he did a really nice job on this replica. I think he did all the work for himself, but I'm not positive. Didn't have a chance to memorize the description on Reflex Central, but got a nice texture here matching the real life. He's got ruts here and there as well, which is pretty cool. Considering the real life track was pretty ruddy, you can triple quad it, almost. Rail this berm, triple in, and triple double. It's pretty fast line. I'm not sure if anyone was hitting that. Sorry for the cut there, but we got a really long whoop section here. Got a little double on a hip, and uh, we got ruts all around here. Little banner, I'm not sure what that said. And these, his berms really hold you well. The really nice big bull corners. On off and jump into the corner. Go ahead and scrub a dub dub on this. And here's our wall. You can launch it. Uh oh. And uh, basically single out of that. That's pretty quick actually I think. More whoops. Pretty decent sized whoops. Finish line. And back onto the start stretch we go. So I really like uh this replica made by Dark Slides, the scaling's really nice on it, and uh, that quad's going to haunt me if I'm not going to be able to hit it. This triple, triple, double is not too terribly difficult. But these berms are so much fun. You can just rail it into these whoops, and you need the momentum coming into the whoops. You can see I got a little crazy at the end of them there. Um, really wide corner there. I just noticed that. You can see he's actually got a real life picture of Roxon up on the uh, screen thingy back there. He can carry so much momentum. Try to wheelie over that. I'm not sure if you're going to actually be able to do that. You'd have to land in a wheelie off the triple and then wheelie on over that thing. It would be pretty difficult. But You can see you get a little bit of head shake off of this finish line as the uh, lip of the finish line is just a little steep. Uh, like a little rough. I don't really know how to describe it other than that. Um, but yeah, other than that, the track is fantastic. I think they were double, tripling, tripling in real life. I'm not sure if you're actually able to do that here in Reflex. <laughs> Rail that. Jeez, these berms are amazing. Really straight run through. We just got a huckabuck right at the end, unfortunately. And triple single into this corner. So much speed. Overjump that triple by a mile. So let's see if we can actually do this. Try to land. Oh my goodness, nope. I'm not even sure if wheeling over the thing would do you much. His wall is kind of weird, actually. I think it would have been better if you maybe would have made it a little bit taller, but it's pretty, pretty effective. You can't really wheelie over it either. A little bit of head shake going over the finish line again. jump triple and there's the quad that no longer will haunt me I know they're triple quadding singling in sim I don't think that's a possibility here in reflex it's my cleanest run through the whoops so far missed that inside rup but that's okay rail this go ahead and cut to the inside here get on off and over jump to this inside grab this and get a lot of head shake going over that wall um, I really like his bump models to the sand they actually look really cool even though we keep on jumping over them <laughs> but they do look really nice so there's a decent lap time for you Ooh, that was a weird landing but uh, yeah not really much to improve on this is a really nice replica I think his scaling is pretty spot on you can see this quad is so hard. Only I think I only saw Anderson do it in real life, and I didn't even see it. That was posted later to Instagram and just about every other social network. Get a little sideways, little buck, but we're able to make it through. Try to grab a rut there. Rail it. Oh goodness. Oh wow, that was unfortunate. Oof. Definitely one of the easier Supercross tracks, I have a feeling. Um, 
The rhythms aren't too terribly hard, except for that dumb quad. Oof, yep, that ain't gonna happen. I'm not sure how, I think the last lap we're gonna have to go ahead and try to check up and actually hit the wall like you're supposed to hit a wall <laughs> and see how that uh, results. You can do some crazy whips off that finish line because of the head shake that you get. Oh, we're only doubling in here. Double, triple, double. It's another line when you mess up like I did. Scrub into this corner. Oh, that's so much fun. Jump kind of over that berm just a wee bit. Double, double, rail it. Oh my goodness, that's fun. Wheelie off the table like a pro. Disc oh, yep, we're going to check up for it. That's really slow. There's no way that's faster than jumping it. So yeah, I think definitely jumping the wall is the way to go. I think that's what they're doing in real life as well. So good job there. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please leave a like if you did. Make sure to comment your thoughts and subscribe for future reviews. I will catch you guys in the next video.